Whether you're just looking to get feedback on your YouTube videos, or you're collaborating on larger video projects and you wanna share drafts with your clients, or even your remote production team for reviews and changes, then Frame.io promises to help you out. In this video, we'll take a close look at just what Frame.io has to offer, provide our thoughts and review, and share some pro tips on how we use it to help save a heap of time in editing projects. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description below. So let's jump into it. No matter what sort of video you're working on, whether it's a personal YouTube video or a big client project, getting and managing feedback on your videos, especially the ones where there's heaps of people involved, can be an absolute nightmare. I've been on projects with just about every kind of bad solution imaginable. So things like random emails that get lost, uh, notes that are spread across multiple different platforms, feedback that's not linked to specific time codes when you're reviewing your videos so that you don't even know where to begin to make your changes. It can be an absolute mess and it can chew up a ton of unnecessary time collecting, managing and processing all the feedback and changes and it only just amplifies the bigger the project gets and the more people that are involved. So this is where Frame.io comes into play with their promise of video review and collaboration solved. But how does it really stack up when put to use in the real world and who does it really work well for? We're gonna take a look in this Frame.io review. And make sure you stick around because I'll also be sharing my top three pro tips for getting the most out of Frame.io. Okay, so let's kick this off by taking a look at what Frame.io actually is. This is a web-based application or a service that you log into through your web browser and you can upload your files, share them with your team, they can leave comments and everything, you can get the feedback back and then go and make the changes. So it's a big feedback engine or portal, you could say, where you're able to upload stuff, photos, videos, uh, audio files, get feedback on them and make the changes and then put up another version. So it is really a reviewing platform. So some of the key features and some of them we just touched on there, the first one that stood out for me was how fast this actually is. We've done upload speed comparisons for uploading large video files to Dropbox, to Google Drive, to Box even, and to Frame.io. And Frame.io is definitely the clear standout. I don't know what they're doing there that Google and Dropbox and the others aren't, but the ability to upload at insanely high speeds is a huge feature because the quicker you can get your video files out, the quicker you can get the feedback on them or your team to review your video files. So having the ability to access these accelerated upload speeds as they call it is an amazing thing. And I really don't understand how they're doing it, but it is really, really good. Okay, so that's how fast it is, but what type of files can you upload? Well, you can upload more than just video files. You can upload audio files, stills, and PDF files too. And there's actually no limit or restriction around the size of the files you can upload or the codecs or file types that are supported. So there's a big push here with collaboration and file transfer for using huge files like ProRes files or DNX HD or DNX HR files as well. So professional based video codecs you can easily transfer them and obviously having that accelerated upload and download makes a huge difference just for transferring files alone. So that's before we even get to the feedback part. In regards then to adding in team members or people that you wanna share either a review link or give them access to the project so they can review multiple files, it's really easy and it's literally a click of a button, enter an email address and they'll get an invitation. Now there's different security levels that you can apply to either different folders, projects, or individual files so that they can have different levels of access for either different people or for public access as well. But where the real power of Frame.io comes into play is in the review process. So getting feedback on your videos. So once you've given a team member access or you've sent out a review link to someone so they can review your videos, they're presented with a video player and a feedback form where they can type in any feedback. They can also add graphics or animations to pinpoint areas that they want changed. So you could draw an arrow on screen and say, fix this color. So all the feedback and the annotations are actually time coded to that exact frame where they've entered the feedback, which is amazing because what you can do from there is bring those comments back into your editing software. Now at the time of filming this, you can export these comments and import them directly into Final Cut Pro 10 or into Adobe Premiere. So that's really, really powerful. 
especially as someone that uses both of those applications. But the real beauty in importing these comments into your timeline is that they're not just locked to the overall timeline. You can actually bring them in in a way where they're locked to the individual clip. So that means if you make a change at the start, that the markers or the comments that you're bringing in are going to still be locked with that individual clip. So making a change at one end of the timeline isn't then gonna throw out all the rest of the comments or the feedback points to put them out of sync for all the remaining comments that are left. So this is a huge feature and I can't stress how valuable this is as an editor to receive feedback and have it tied directly to a clip in a timeline, not just to a time code. So it's time code is how it gets there, but when you bring it in, it's actually tied directly to that frame of the clip. It's just amazing because most of the other feedback tools out there, when you make a change, the markers or the comments are tied to the overall timeline. So they'll stay there. So if you remove something at three minutes, then there'll still be a comment at five minutes, but the chunk that you removed, your comments are now gonna be out by the same length of time that that chunk that you removed was. So without confusing anyone here, it's just an amazing feature to have your comments tied directly into your timeline and that are synced up with your video footage. You even have the ability in Frame.io to see everyone else's comments. So if you are working in a team environment, you can look at everyone else's feedback and make comments on their feedback. And then as an editor, you can then go through and tick done or add a comment to someone else's comment to start a discussion around a piece of feedback. So this really makes the review and the feedback process of your videos so streamlined. And the fact that you as an editor or your editor can tick off items that are done, then you know what's done and what's not done for the next version of that video file. Which then leads me into the next thing, which is that it also supports file versioning so that you can have one project with one video file and you can keep uploading new versions and you can actually roll back and view previous versions on Frame.io or just view the latest one. So that's really, really powerful. You can also use Frame.io as a sign-off tool to help you get sign-off quicker with your video. So not only does it streamline the feedback process, it also helps you mark which files you've got ready for approval, and it makes it easy for the client to review the video and mark it as approved. So as a production company or someone working with clients, that is a huge feature to streamline that sign-off process because sometimes the back and forth with a sign-off process can take a while, so this makes that much easier. There's even an iOS app now, so you can actually get feedback on your videos or even use Frame.io to play your videos from anywhere using your iPhone or an iPad, so that's pretty cool. And the other standout major feature of Frame.io is the direct integration with Final Cut Pro 10 and Adobe Premiere Pro. Both of them have an application that you can download and install to run with your editing application so that it makes it really easy to queue files for upload to Frame.io. It helps you with the transcoding or the rendering out so that your file formats are optimized for Frame.io just for review. And it can really help streamline the review process because Frame.io can be set up to be directly linked to a sequence or a timeline so that any feedback that's applied, you can download that feedback directly into that timeline, same as manually exporting the comments and bringing it in. Using these built-in plugins or integrations, they call them, you can do this automatically. So in regards to pricing options, there's two different categories. So there's individual pricing and there's company pricing. Under individual, there's a starter plan for $15 per month and a professional plan for $25 per month. And if you're looking at the company plans, there's a team plan for $50 per month, there's a business plan for $150 per month, and there's also an enterprise plan available as well. And with any of these plans, there is a 30-day trial version available. And this is really what I would recommend for anyone, is to grab the 30-day trial, test the workflow out with you, with your editing software, with your team, with your ideal review process and see how it works for you. But for me, this is something that I actually personally use on a lot of corporate projects. It makes the feedback process and even just the file transfer process so much easier. The fact that I can either lock down the video files so that no one can see them unless they've been given access or I can generate a public link, which means all they need to do is enter a name and not log in or create an account to be able to review the files. It's just a huge thing and it makes the whole review process and feedback process and just the file transfer process so much faster and easier. Now, before we get into my top tips on how to get the most out of Frame.io and how we've been using it at Primal Video, let's run through my recommendation on who it's for and just as importantly, who it's not for. 
All right, so who is Frame.io suited for? Well, even though there's direct integration with Final Cut Pro and with Adobe Premiere Pro, doesn't mean that you're limited to that. If you're using some other editing program, you can still use Frame.io as an awesome way to receive feedback on your videos and to be able to transfer files quickly. So if you're looking for something that's quick to transfer your video files, that's cheap and has team support and, and an easy sign off or review process, then Frame.io is for you. If you're someone who isn't too worried about the upload speeds or you're not too big on the feedback process, as in you're not gonna have a heap of different people in there giving you feedback and the feedback doesn't necessarily need to be tied directly into a specific part of your video, then maybe Frame.io isn't the best for you. If you're not utilizing those features, then it's probably not suited for you. But what I can say is this is something that even if you think that you don't need it and you're happy with your current workflow, maybe you've got a feedback form that you're sending your clients and they come back with their feedback. Once you actually use this service, once you actually use Frame.io, it's gonna be very hard to leave because you'll just be blown away with how seamless and how simple everything is and how easy it makes it for your clients to review your videos as well. So don't just think of yourself here, look at it from your client's point of view. If you were able to send them a link and they could leave feedback on your videos right there and then, then that is a massive thing from them, but also for you to then be able to implement those changes and make those modifications seamlessly from your timeline. Now I do need to say that this video doesn't have anything to do with Frame.io. They don't even know that we're creating this video, we're creating it for you because this is something that has changed our workflow, especially on the corporate video side for feedback and for fast video transfer in general. So this is why we're sharing this tip. It's got nothing to do with Frame.io. If this sounds salesy or promotional, it's because we like the product. So how we use Frame.io in our workflow at Primal Video is not for these YouTube videos, but primarily for any corporate or client work. It makes the whole feedback process so seamless. The biggest feature here that I think will just blow your mind if you're, if you're into editing and, and you're getting feedback for your videos and making changes constantly and uploading new versions is how powerful having your comments directly in your timeline are. And not just in your timeline, tied directly to a clip. I can't stress this enough. So having that ability in Frame.io and also having the ability to, within a couple of clicks, have your files exporting and uploading to Frame.io directly from your editing application without having to go through the web page and manually upload things once your export's finished. Literally, you click a button, you go share to, Frame.io or upload to Frame.io in this folder and you can even generate the links straight from there as well to get ready to send them out when the video is up. So the whole review process, these guys definitely know what they're doing. They're definitely coming from a production end um, to get into this because they're, they're thinking of things that make it easier from a production point, not sort of a software business that's coming in trying to solve a problem that may or may not be there. There's definitely a big problem around review and file transfer around getting feedback for your videos, and I think Frame.io is the perfect solution. Now in regards to my three tips for getting the most out of Frame.io, I'd suggest that you, number one, install their plugins or their integrations as they call them. So if you're on Final Cut or you're on Premiere Pro, then make sure you download and install their plugin because it'll make the whole process so much easier. You'll actually have an extra panel in Adobe Premiere Pro where you can manage your Frame.io account from there and you can share your timelines directly out. And for Final Cut, it comes in as a separate app, but there's also direct sharing to Frame.io direct from the share menu under file. So again, that speeds up the whole export and upload and review process. Number two is to make use of their built-in presets. So they've got optimized presets when you do run through their integrations to help optimize the upload. So you can really upload any files you like, but the best experience that we've had using Frame.io and getting feedback on videos is to use what they've set up and use their optimized presets for Premiere and for Final Cut to get your video files up there. And the third one is to make use of the feedback or the comments and bringing them into your timeline. I think I've mentioned it a few times in this video, but it's definitely the standout feature for me, getting those comments synced up in your timeline to the individual clips. Now, if you're on Final Cut, this means that you've got to manually export your comments. So from within the Frame.io website, at least at this point in time, or if you're in Adobe Premiere, you can actually pull them in directly from the Frame.io panel that appears in Adobe Premiere. Now, if you're already using Frame.io and you're not using those three things, then you are definitely missing out. 
Obviously, there's so much more to Frame.io in regards to review and feedback, and if you don't have the integrations installed, you're still gonna get a great experience, and it's still an awesome platform for getting feedback and, and teams and people collaborating on your videos or any other files really as well. But if you install those, then that's how we've got the best out of it, and that's what my recommendation would be to you. So as with anything that we recommend, I'd suggest that you download the trial version and see if it's right for you. But for us, it's been an absolute game changer for video feedback and it's something that we are going to continue using. Now, if you're looking to speed up your video editing or you want the most efficient way to edit your videos down without any wasted time or any rework, then check out the video linked on screen now where I take you through the most efficient video editing process. I'll see you soon.